guys, welcome to the DMX show. I'm your host Shane. This is the Beanstown ROM for the Galaxy S3 on Verizon. This is the first non kegzek version of the Beanstown ROM. Now, I personally have been sitting around waiting on this. I've been running this all day long, but you know, last night and the night before, I was expecting this build to drop, so I was just sitting there refreshing my browser. Uh, this is one that I've actually been excited about. I haven't been this excited for a ROM release in quite a while. And we'll have to say that I was not disappointed whatsoever. Now, for those of you that love AOSP and you can't stand TouchWiz, uh, this ROM may or may not be for you. This is based on TouchWiz, but you can actually remove all of the TouchWiz Wiz elements via the Aroma installer, which we'll get to here in a minute. But for now, I just want to run through the settings. So there's not a ton of customization here. It does come with 50 gigabytes of Dropbox and the Wi-Fi tether if you choose that plus other apps if you choose them uh, that's the beauty of the aroma installer one thing I want to note before we really get into the settings or the ROM itself is that my signal has been excellent so this is I've gotten some of the best signal on this phone out of this ROM in particular I've not dropped 4G like all day and I've been all over the place like even out of town and have not dropped 4G like all day long so uh, heads up, I mean, uh, shout out to Beans Town for that. And we'll go to the quick panel settings real quick. Uh, just a few little options for customization here. We just have basically our widget buttons, which are here. You can customize those. And other than that, that's pretty much all the customization options that we really have. This is on the Imozion Lean kernel, so that can be overclocked if you have like an application that utilizes the overclocking capabilities. You can actually change governors. Uh, just grab an application from the market and you'll be all set there. Um, but we'll go into settings. And uh, one thing right there in the settings that you see is the mobile hotspot that's functioning along with you know the Wi-Fi tether application if we go to about device you see that it is on the ice cream sandwich now if you're like me you're kind of torn do I go back to ice cream sandwich uh, and back to touch was even uh, you know for somebody like me that's always on AOSP it felt so different when I went back to ice cream sandwich and touch was but I really like it um, like I said you can kind of choose what kind of ROM you want thanks to the aroma installer which is what we should probably just go ahead and get to next you see that the lean kernel is included there, and I'm only at about 14%, uh, so it's a good thing that I am on the Team Win Recovery Project. Um, if you're rooted and you are not unlocked, or if you are locked, you can install Build 9 because he has both versions. So we'll go ahead and boot into Recovery. So we'll restart and boot into recovery. One thing that I didn't mention is that he's got a ton of wallpapers installed there so in order to change your wallpaper just press and hold the main menu I mean the main sc home screen there and then all your wallpapers will pop up and there's several there to choose from so he made sure to include like all the wallpapers that you could ever really think of. So once Team Win Recovery comes up it's very simple to install. You just want to make sure that you wipe everything first Factory reset, swipe to wipe, cache, swipe to wipe, Davit cache, swipe to wipe, and then we'll go ahead and install the ROM. Uh, so you're looking for Beans Custom ROM. You don't have to have G apps. It's baked into this, considering that it is a team, a, a touch whiz ROM. So we'll just go ahead and click that. Make sure that's what you're flashing, and swipe to confirm. So this is just going to pop up the Aroma installer, and then it's going to guide us through the installation process. And here we'll be able to kind of pick and choose what we want. So we'll go next. And I'm flashing. I'll, I'll select yes because I'm unlocked. If you're locked, then you need the Kegzek version. You'll go to no. But I am unlocked. I want my clock in the center, so I'll choose that. I want the Apex launcher. You can choose from four different launchers there. And I want the ES file manager. You can have stock files or both file managers or no file manager. I don't want any of the Verizon bloat, but you can choose any of it that you want. And as far as the uh, Samsung TouchWiz applications, the only one that I'm really interested in is the S Voice. And then here I'm not really interested in any of these applications except for wireless tether. And so now it's installing. This probably takes about five minutes. Uh, so we'll kind of let it do its thing and then we'll come back to it. Okay guys, so when it finishes doing its thing, it's going to bring you to this screen. From there, you're just going to go to Next. That's going to click Finish, and then that's going to boot you back into your recovery. And from there, you can reboot the system. 
So it's going to bring up the custom boot animation by Beanstown. Guys, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this by clicking the button that I just pointed to. Uh, I will be giving away a Google Nexus 7 device plus a case, a nice leather case that it goes in. Um, brand new, in the box, all kind of cool stuff. Hopefully I'll have that announcement out by Friday. That's my plan. I will see what happens, but you want to make sure that you're subscribed to that. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. You don't even know how much it helps me. Um, and then I know what you want. So like if I'm getting a ton of thumbs up on a device and I know to make sure to do more videos on that device, if I'm getting like no thumbs up on a device, then I know that nobody's really caring to see that. So uh, voice your opinion. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.